what the travel time signs are trying to do is better inform drivers so they can make better decisions about their trip. They can decide whether they need to stop and make a rest stop, continue on on their trip, or maybe even swing through Cleelum and get fuel. Well, currently we're using a data provider, NRIX Incorporated, out of Kirkland, Washington. Uh, throughout the summer, we'll be bringing on some of our own sensors, which detect tra traffic speed and count the cars and determine what type they are. We'll be incorporating that data into the data stream to get even more accurate travel times over Snoqualmie Pass. drivers will experience as they pass the travel time sign. They'll see in minutes the actual travel time to reach the summit of Snoqualmie Pass. That doesn't mean that somewhere along their trip they won't come across an incident which might mean more time, but as they pass the sign it will help them make better decisions as to whether they should continue on to their destination or maybe stop and pick up some food or fuel. Part of the project will be to install 28 roadway sensors which will determine vehicle speed and count vehicles as they go by. Later this summer we'll be using that information to populate a flow map which will give red, yellow, and green indications to drivers whether or not they can expect delays over Snoqualmie Pass. Also later this summer we'll be publishing travel times on the web to help drivers judge how long it'll take to reach their destination.